questions surrounding the assassination attempt persist this morning. For more insight on this new angle of the incident, I'm joined now by Donald Lane. Good morning. You're a former Secret Service agent, served during the Bill Clinton and George W. Bush administrations. Thanks for joining us and taking the time and sharing your unique perspective. When you saw this video, what came to your mind? Good morning, Anna. Uh, you know, it's it's dramatic video of an of an historic event. Um, immediately, what came to mind are, are the same things that have been on my mind since this happened. You know, this is a failure of multiple levels. I don't understand that. You know, the biggest problem is why wasn't there better planning? Uh, you know, for the building, uh, there should have been additional posts there, in my opinion. And obviously, there's a huge problem with the communications interoperability between the various entities involved. The the uh, you know, the police, state police, and the Secret Service. So those two things jump out at me immediately. Uh, it seemed like a little bit too much chaos, and there should have been a lot more planning involved uh, for a building that close to the site. Gosh, I mean, just such, they almost got him, you know? The officer was right there, right there just seconds before. Does this offer any new insight on how Crooks was able to follow through with the attack? Like, do you think that this is, this video is really helpful and, and groundbreaking for investigators trying to work out what happened so it doesn't happen again? I think so. You know, anytime you have first, first-hand account of what, what happened, especially this this time, you know, captured on video, it's going to help uh, to prevent this from happening. But again, uh, before it even got to this point, you know, the kind of the chaos that you see in the video, uh, before it even got to that point, you know, there should have been, I believe, a little tighter constraints around the security of that building, for sure, on the outside, uh, to prevent people from just mulling around, walking up, and being able to access the roof. So, uh, definitely cannot happen again, that's for sure. Yeah, well, local officials apparently didn't have lines of communication with the Secret Service at this rally. You know, they're so used to doing complicated tasks like this, rallies, Christmas tree lightings, parades, and on and on. Is it normal for them not to be able to communicate with each other on the same channel? It, well, the same channel, yes. I mean, that, that that's normal. It would be a huge undertaking to get everybody on the same radios. But but for years and years, decades, uh, you know, the Secret Service has operated on, on a counterpart system. So we have a security room. Uh, the various entities that are involved will have a, a person there, usually a commander, uh, who's in the room with Secret Service personnel, so that if something like this is seen, it can be immediately communicated to the security room, and from there, Secret Service personnel can push those communications out to the folks right around the president. Uh, so why that didn't happen is totally mystifying to me, because that's just standard practice. So I don't know what happened in this case, but I'm sure we'll find out with these multiple investigations. Yeah, well, the U.S. Secret Service has reportedly said that they do not want former President Trump to hold these massive outdoor rallies that he's known for. And we weren't sure whether he would or wouldn't because he did have those indoor rallies. But his campaign has, has said, at least reportedly, that they would like to have these outdoor rallies again in the future. What needs to change? Well, you know, I'm sure the Secret Service doesn't want them to have. I mean, if we could lock all of our protectees <laughs> up, that would be great. But that's not what the Secret Service does. You know, the Secret Service is there to strike a balance between the needs of uh, a candidate or the president, vice president, being able to be seen in their security. So uh, what needs to change is better planning. I believe what you'll see moving forward is better planning, um, more clear and concise concise duties being delineated out to the various entities involved, and an increase in manpower. So I believe those are the three areas that need to be worked on so that this doesn't ever happen again. Thanks for watching, everybody. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. Also, don't forget to click that red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.